Pat, your newest restaurant to open up here in Key West is Charlie Max. You mentioned that's named after your grandson's. Great idea. Tell us a little bit more about the restaurant. Well, I own the Green Parrot with John Bagnoni, who's been here 35 years. He's the soul of the parrot, the music at Presario. And next door, the building was Bubba Lou's. Before that, it was the Meteor, and I love the old Meteor. Mm -hmm. And it was up for sale, and no one was buying it, so I took it, renovated it for the past six months, mm -hmm. and then we, but I needed something different, a value proposition, and there's no really great smokehouse in Old Town mm -hmm. for pulled pork and barbecue ribs and all that good stuff, you know, get yourself all dirty. So I brought down a gold medalist from South Carolina, Beauregard Hammond, and he trained the staff, and I sent our chef up to his restaurants in South Carolina, and so bang, and you know, you were there, thank mm -hmm. goodness, for the, it just opened in October, mm -hmm. so we're expecting all of the keys to come on down and get sloppy. Yeah, it, it is delicious. I can thank attest you. to that because I have been there, I have tried the food, and I love it, so good job. Thank <laughs> you, thank you. Now, Pat, what is on the horizon for you now? Well, if you promise not to tell anyone. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try not to. No, Next, I promise. Tomorrow, mm -hmm. I have the opportunity. The Green Parrot's an iconic bar in Key West. Mm -hmm. The opportunity to buy Half Shell and Turtle Crows, two other iconic seafood bars on the waterfront, is coming to be, and I'm going to settlement next week. Wonderful. So, yeah, I'm really, <laughs> really excited. The atmosphere, and I really like the Sixers. I want to mm -hmm. dust them off and bring them back to prominence because Turtle Crows was the first bar I went to 25 years ago with my really? wife. Really? Yeah, okay. so I went, and Half Shell, what can you say? Yeah. Two great bars. Totally. So you, I know that you will turn these bars around, though, even more. Are you going to bring a little pirate taste? No, 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 <laughs> not at all. No, I don't want anyone stealing anything either okay. in my bar. No, 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 because you don't, I never want anything corny. In mm -hmm. Key West, the things that only work are legitimately really cool, funky. Mm -hmm. What I will bring is the funk. We'll bring the <laughs> funk back. You will do that. Pat, are you here in Key West? I mean, do you want to spend the rest of your life here in Key West, would you say? Oh, I'll always spend at least a week to two weeks mm -hmm. every month for the mm -hmm. rest of my life here. Mm -hmm. Now, this is, I love this island. I mean, mm -hmm. I just love the people of the island. I love being on my bicycle. I'm mm -hmm. dressed for you. I put a collared shirt on. Mm -hmm. But I got shirts up here. I mean, I rarely wear a tank top shorts mm -hmm. and flip-flops. It's mm -hmm. fabulous. And that's mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. So, And no one has to have any false pretenses here. You don't have right. to keep up with the Joneses here. Mm -hmm. Everyone's friendly. You know, and you got to keep an eye over your back because some pirates do live on this island. <laughs> very, very true. Pat, our book covers, your book covers are behind us right now, I should say. People can still pick up these copies on Amazon, right? Yeah, you can go to Amazon or mm -hmm. patcroachy.com because, mm -hmm. yeah, they're still, they're still for sale, probably not in bookstores now, but through Amazon. Mm -hmm. and my latest one, which was the Pirate Handbook, mm -hmm. came out last year. And it's pretty cool because if you found it on the street and you picked it up, it would teach you how to really be a pirate. <laughs> so it's way cool. Oh, you As a matter of fact, Hollywood's looking at making it an option for a movie, almost oh. like the Goonies. I hope that they do that. It's me too. No one knows more about pirates than this guy. And now, Pat, I'm putting you on the spot real quick. I thank you so much for being here with me this morning. Do you have some motivation mojo for our viewers this morning? Okay, let me see. But <laughs> I truly believe, I really believe this that if you take action on your passion mm -hmm. with a focused determination and an expectation of success, not wanting success, but expecting it, the world will create circumstances for the fulfillment of your dreams and goals. But you have to go at it with something you're passionate about, not just the almighty dollar, something you really want to do and then be positive about. Don't leave a back door and say, well, in case I don't make it. No, an expectation of success, a focused determination, dreams do come true. Wonderful. What a great way to end the show this morning. Again, thank you for being here with My me My pleasure. Today. Thanks, Jenny. Mm -hmm. You were great. You were great. And thank you, everybody, for tuning in this morning and joining me. I hope you can join me again tomorrow at 7 a.m. and back at 8.30 a.m. Take care and have a great rest of your day.